How's everybody doing today? Another random talk Tuesday time to start. Got my sun hat on today because it is flipping hot here in Louisiana. Sun's actually shining for a while. I think we got some uh, more rain coming in though. But uh, I want to start off with a fun little fact. As you know, <coughs> there's a nursing home. <coughs> Excuse me. I just got done working out, so I'm uh, still hot and hard to breathe. But anyways, did you know there's a nursing home in the United States that costs over $714 million a year to run and operate? There's only one person in it. Just one. And that is your president of the United States, Joe Biden. And for sports, what we have this week is Scottie Pippen. Everybody remembers Scottie Pippen, right? Michael Jordan's right-hand man is one of the best duos in NBA in the 90s. Scottie Pippen also, I don't know what the hell's wrong with him. He just all of a sudden went off the deep end, I guess. He's just talking random shit, just running his mouth. And I, I think he still butthurt at the time when he signed his contract in the 90s. He was one of the lowest paid NBA players. And that's because he signed a really large contract. Well, uh, a long-term contract for a low amount of pay because he, just, he needed the money, I guess. But uh, either way, now all of a sudden, you know, he's saying how um, Phil Jackson was racist. Um... Uh, he's also, you know, he and don't let's not forget though here that Scottie Pippen is the man that sat out mostly a whole, an entire season, I believe, and chose to have a surgery instead of having his surgery in the off season. He chose to have it during the season and miss half the season. Uh, he's also the same player that refused to go on the court during a game because there was a play drawn up, you know, a, a game-winning play the fourth quarter. Uh, he the play wasn't drawn up for him, so he chose not to even he sat on the bench. He didn't go back out on the court with his team. This dude all of a sudden is just like. He's got a book coming out. I guess he's trying to promote his book, but now he's going after Charles Barkley. He's attacking Michael Jordan. He's attacking Phil Jackson. Like, God damn, bro, just get over it. Like, like Charles Barkley actually said in the interview with the Dan Patrick Show, he said, uh, you know, he was talking to Scotty on the interview, but he said, uh, man, we're almost 60 years old now. There's no beef anymore between us. We're not on the court playing. Like, get over it. So I don't know what Scotty Pippen's issue is, but, yeah, he's all of a sudden just um, he's really butthurt all of a sudden about some stuff, I guess. So... Maybe it's to promote his book, just trying to get his name out there some more. But uh, Scotty, whatever you're on, man, lay off of it. Just enjoy your enjoy your fame you got, man. Everybody knows who you are. Just just let it go. All right, the next thing I want to talk about is our just absolute shit court system, justice system. It's all a fucking joke, honestly. And I'm sorry about the language there, but uh, I've been dealing with it for over a year now with some family stuff going on, and uh, just saw on the news just last week, Bill Cosby, who had over 50 women come out against him saying that he has drugged them and sexually assaulted them. He served three of his 10 years in prison and he was released last week and uh, it's not allowed to go back to trial anymore. They just let him out. And uh, what I witnessed, yes, back in May and June, um, somebody get, get charged with something, you can get first degree something and get probation and be allowed to leave the state and whatnot, it's just amazing. Our judges don't give a shit about you guys, and it's, I'm not trying to go on a whole rampage about this, but um, it's absolutely ridiculous the stuff these judges do and the decisions they're allowed to make. So uh, I, I don't understand, especially in the Bill Cosby case, how you can have 50-some women come out against you and testify against you. And I believe in one of his testimonies, he even admitted to using a drug, and he still got released from prison. So I don't know where the Me Too movement's at right now, but... Uh, if y'all are doing anything, you're not doing it loud enough because we, we definitely ain't hearing you out here, especially in Louisiana, we're not hearing you. But um, this is absolute bullshit. These women are basically being told now by judges, if you were raped or sexually assaulted or whatever, we don't give a shit about you, okay? You just uh, you just let them keep doing them and we'll do this and, you know, hey, it is what it is. So I think until we, um, you know, I, I know I said this was never going to be about politics or anything like that, but... Uh, and I'm trying to stay out of the whole politics thing on these random talk Tuesdays we do, but um, I, I don't think this is as much politics as it is just piece of shit people who get jobs they shouldn't be having. All right, something a little easier on the on the heart here. So I was driving the other day, coming home from uh, Alexandria, Louisiana, and uh, I got in my subdivision and saw this gentleman, not an old guy or like that, maybe uh, maybe in his 40s. He was, uh, just got done cutting his grass, I guess, and uh, he was using a broom, sweeping the sidewalk and the driveway and everything. Man, I get it, like, money might be tight for people or whatever, but 
holy shit dude we're in the middle of 2021 and you don't have some sort of a leaf blower electric blower battery gas something you're still using a broom sweeping that shit like man this ain't the 40s no more i mean hell, you can go to walmart and get an electric blower for probably 30 bucks you know i ain't hating on the guy just it's kind of mind-blowing to see somebody still doing that i mean you could literally broom it take an hour to clean everything up or blow it and have it done in 10 minutes something else that i find crazy and i'm gonna show you a picture of this i took a picture in my truck the other day because i still just can't comprehend this and i think it falls back to kids not being able to read a clock anymore kids can read digital clocks but they can't read analog so i was driving when i was driving up to alexandria and from my house it's about a two and a half hour drive so you know i'm just cruising down the interstate and i was going through the little menu options on my gauge cluster in my truck i have the option to put a digital speedometer on my gauge cluster but directly to the right of that digital is an analog speedometer so do we have digital speedometers because people are so damn dumb they can't look at the speedometer and actually read like okay the needles in between the 50 and the 60 so i must be going 55 you know what i mean or whatever wherever it might be but i don't know it falls back to the clock things i guess and uh let me let me stop real quick i'm gonna show you this picture of that all right so you see what i'm talking about i got the digital speedometer right next to the analog speedometer it's absolutely stupid i think but it is what it is but something else i found this week um you know i'm still on my whole <clears throat> my weight loss goal i'm down to a month and three days left and uh it's been a hell of a battle i don't know if I don't know what's going on with it maybe i'm drinking too much water i guess i know yesterday i drank i literally drank two gallons of water but we had a cookout yesterday for the fourth of july it was just hot and uh and you can't drink anything else i guess maybe i overdid the water and i just got bloated or something got some water weight today but anyways um i was looking through some apps the other day on the app store on my android phone and you know we got an app now to tell you when to drink water that's right you don't go off what your body tells you anymore as far as man i'm feeling kind of thirsty maybe i should go drink some water or you go use the restroom and oh, damn my pee kind of kind of golden brown maybe i should drink some water uh, uh you got a mobile app now that tells you when to drink water one of the dumbest damn things i've ever seen in my life honestly if you don't know your body well enough at whatever age you're at that you can't tell when you need to be drinking some water that app ain't gonna help you none you just you, you lost you you're that little boy in Little League back in the day that's got a snow cone in his ball glove standing out in left field. Just don't even know there's a baseball game going on, but you got a snow cone. And I guess we're going to end this week. This has kind of been a off-the-wall topics here. Um, but uh, with the Olympics coming up, you know, we keep hearing all this stuff about transgenders. I think I've been seeing on social media they got petitions now you can sign to keep transgenders from participating in the Olympics. Uh, petitions to keep anti-americans representing team usa in the olympics um i don't know i say the best bet is let's have all these petitions just don't watch the damn olympics but um the whole thing with the transgenders is really wild so here's what boys my mind you could be a man and we talked about this in one of our earlier episodes and i, I don't remember what country he or she is in now i think it was australia or something but um the, uh, the man that is transgender to a woman and now he's lifting and uh, doing powerlifting for the women's team and uh, how it's not fair. Um, but here's what gets me with that. He or she can, you know, transgender and participate in the Olympics in the wrong uh, category. But there's so many regulations and stuff we can't do in the U.S. So what I'm getting with that is a man today in 2021 can literally delete his wiener. That's right. You can have a doctor cut it off, tuck it in, whatever the hell they do, but it's against the law to delete your diesel truck. That's absolute bullshit. I think it is at least. I mean, it's it's crazy. So just something to think about. I know this was kind of off the topic, just random stuff this week, but that's what we do is random talk Tuesdays. Um, if any of you guys got any topics you want us to talk about, message them to us, put them in the comments or whatever. Uh, we're also on Instagram, we're on TikTok, we're on Facebook. We got we got all the social media stuff going on. And uh, if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button and the like button to our channel so we can continue doing this. I know we saw a while back um, on our statistics thing on YouTube Studio app, only like, I think it's 97% of people who watch our stuff aren't even subscribed to it. So 
hit that subscribe button help us out and uh, we'll keep generating more and more videos for you hope you all have a good week and we'll see you next tuesday